Okay, so how do you install apps in Jakku J7? First of all, you need a cable. One side is standard USB-A. Connect it to the car. The other side, it depends on where you connect it. If you connect it to a laptop, so either connect to USB-C. If there is no USB-C, need a cable with USB-A. I happen to have an adapter. And then you can connect it to the computer. Uh, or, uh, in case you have an Android phone, which is a recommended option, connect an OTG adapter. This tutorial is for a phone, but it's the same on the computer. Go to the Jaku App Store website, link in the description, and prepare the car. Enter the vehicle center. System. Start by restoring factory settings. Reset. Wait for a full reset. Great, now that the tablet has come up, we need to get back into the vehicle center. System. No. The language can be changed back now. Scroll down to the version number. Click on the word version information 10 times. You get all this beauty. Click USB 2 here. And... Now you can take your phone or computer and click connect. The car will appear here. Connect. Confirm. Install. If it doesn't happen immediately, you have to check the cable or the adapter. Please note, use a cable that is a data cable and not a regular charging cable that comes with some kind of razor or something like that. Good. Click install. It will take a few minutes or less. Of course, it depends on the internet connection you have here. Installed successfully. Done. Get out of here. The third one from above is a reboot. You have to press it. Do a reboot. Done. We actually had two apps. One app, an app store. There you will find all the apps you want to install. Waze, YouTube, Maps, all those things, and a driver settings app. The driver settings app is actually... Allows you to save your settings permanently. Open the app, it also provides internet. This app is actually paid. You have a week of trial. If you only want the App Store, you don't need to pay. Click OK and the trial will be activated for a week. Click Wi-Fi. Turn it on. Share Wi-Fi from your phone. Connect. Wait. We connected to Wi-Fi. And you can install apps. Click anonymously. The most sought after is YouTube, so we'll start with YouTube. In order to install YouTube, first of all, we will have to install something else. Carrier services. I'll write the full name in the description. Click install. The app begins to download. In the meantime, let's move on to YouTube. And let's move on to Waze. Channel 12 is always a good choice. Don't drive and look at the screen. Spotify, my personal preference.
And if you have some kind of gate opening software, Well, all the apps have been downloaded. Please note YouTube and YouTube Music, they come off from another server, so they take longer than usual. So after we have downloaded it, we first need to open the Micro G app. It basically replaces the Play services on a regular phone. We've opened it, and here you can add your account. Google account. Log in with your usual details sign-in, like you usually do. After you have done that, either logged in or not, you can go to YouTube, continue. And you actually have a regular YouTube for everything. Beauty. Same thing with Waze. Spotify. Channel 12. Now let's talk a little bit about driver settings apps. We click drivers. First of all, let's add drivers. For example, let's add me, Vadim. We will choose which icon. And here goes to a tab with my name. And then here I can determine what I want to happen when the car and Gina ignite. Let's say I want to drive normal mode. I don't like the start stop. I don't like the speed limit warning. Don't want the children reminder. Ah, uh, identifying children inside the car. And I'm okay with all other settings. Opening the sunshade. I want the curtain to open as soon as I start the car. And there is a driver's seat memory. It's not active for me because it's not supported in my model. But for those who have a supporting model, you can definitely use this option. Move the seat, press update, and it will work. We'll add another driver here. Let's say Kathy. I'm Kathy. I also don't like start stops. She likes eco mode. She also doesn't want to children detection. And she also wants to open the sunshade. That's it. And now if we start the car, we will say we will be on Vadim. We will see that the sunshade opens on its own. We'll see a reminder that the reminder to identify children is disabled. We'll see that the start stop has shut itself down. We will see that we are in a normal mode. If we move to Kathy, for example, we'll see that we've automatically switched to eco mode. Then every time you get into the car, you can choose who the driver is and his settings will start according to what he has chosen. As for using CarPlay or Android Auto, I don't recommend it at all. I don't see any reason. All apps are already installed in the car. No, that's it. Another important thing is in the driver settings. From time to time, an update will appear. 